But I call the member for Lindsay. Mr Deputy Speaker, 67 years ago, back in 1951, the Bells Line of Road uh, corridor was reserved by the New South Wales government. Now, I would never advocate for a time where we would go back 67 years in history because we did some pretty awful things back then. But what I would advocate for is that 67 years ago, many landholders, families and businesses were set up along that stretch of road. And made their homes with the uh, idea that the, the corridor was reserved. Now, with the stroke of a pen, the New South Wales Liberal government have come along and decided to realign that corridor. Mr Deputy Speaker, this has put 500 people's homes, businesses and families' lives up in absolute turmoil. The New South Wales state government sent Channel 10, Channel 9 and a couple of people from the department to inform these families that their home were going to be compulsorily acquired so that they could move this section of road to accommodate a 24-hour airport down the road at Badgerys Creek. Another backflip from this government. Deputy Speaker, I have had over 1,000 submissions received by my office. I have attended community rallies of five and 600 people during the day when they should be at work. I have had numerous families come into my office, including children who are upset about the future of their home. I would like to place on record my sincere thanks to everybody involved with the Castlereagh Cranebrook Landilo Action Group, including the leaders of that group, Mary Vella, Patrick Sarobian, Kathy Galea, Steve Abbott, and everybody at Raygal Nursery for their continued advocacy for our community. I thank the member.